Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match cast. This is Shadow Fury Three Three, bringing you a match between Sackdoth and Vistrichium on Ravaged. Now, Ravaged is actually one of my favorite maps. Or at least, I really like the design. I suppose it's because I played StarCraft a lot a few years back, and this map is very StarCraft-like. Lots of cliffs, primarily focused on ramps for getting between them, and no real s other slopes or other inclines. It's just cliffs and ramps. And even the base design is very StarCrafty. The amount of choke points that are set up and the natural expansion right here with a couple choke points that you can easily wall off and 0k being 0k you actually can easily wall off. Anyway, Vistrichium going very quickly for Cloakies while Sackdoth goes for gunships. Not a bad idea. Going around the side of the map. One thing about this map that is a bit contentious is the fact that there is water along the side and there is room along the side which means you can do things with gunships like this, or you can actually build ships here, though it's a little bit tricky for them to get through some of the narrower sections, but you can build ships there and have them go around the other side, and it's very difficult for the opponent to deal with them. Anyway, a bunch of blast wings coming along, the suicide bot unit for the gunship plant. They... this should be good. They're going to deal a lot of harassment. I don't think Vistrichium is expecting this at all. I'm not sure if it's going to go in one at a time. Blast wings don't do well against... or don't do well in groups because they tend to blow each other up. Anyway, Vistrichium is... Able to destroy one of the metal extractors from Sackdoth. He is not able to destroy all of them. Getting, or it's not able to destroy all of them. Getting destroyed in the process. But these blast wings are in place. And it doesn't look like Vistrichium is aware of them. However, this defender will be a problem. All the blast wings coming in and dealing the damage they can. They're actually not dealing that much damage. They, they really didn't do much there. They... Damage this metal extractor down to half, and that's about it. Some coming from the north as well, and also not doing much. Blast wings are actually pretty tricky to use. Though the fact that they are being hit by the defenders does not help one bit. So that is... Well, anticlimactic. You can see if Sackdoth put a fair amount of effort into that rush there, but... We'll have to transition from that, possibly into Banshees, though probably doesn't do another factory. At this point, Vistrichium is switching up to anti-air, getting... Well, getting a Jethro, just in case, has defenders up already, but that's a matter of course. Building defenders as your first defensive structure is not at all unusual. They do well against Glaives, and against Bandits they do okay, but Light Laser Turret, a bit more typical as we can see Sackdoth is going for, but defenders are not unusual. Especially in this map, it's not surprising that something like this would happen, it's just a little unusual. I should say, something like this Sackdoth's harassment right now, and it won't really be going anywhere. It looks like... Caretaker being built up, and Sackdoth probably going to use that. There we go, building a jump jet plant. Still an unusual choice, but using the Caretaker to get that jump jet plant going while the commander goes to expand. Now, Vistrichium quite a ways ahead in economy. The Blast Wing able to get in before the Defender able to take it out, and able to get rid of the Metal Extractor. So, some good came from that Blast Wing harassment. Now, Blast Wings cost 55 each, so that wasn't particularly cost-effective overall. Still fairly effective, just not all that cost-effective. And as you can see here, Sackdoth, four metal extractors to Vistrichium's five, having lost one, though he is getting the back inning six soon. Sackdoth is behind an economy, very slightly, only three metal. He's apparently reclaiming something, or... Nope, just... Just happens to be slightly ahead, slightly, only slightly behind in metal, not that far behind. While Vistrichium is preparing to go for a small attack, this warrior here is the big part of this attack. The warrior is going to be able to get rid of this light laser turret pretty quickly, although the commander in the way could stop that. The commander being at level 1 and beam laser energy cell, pretty typical commander. Same with Vistrichium, both players going for a very standard commander opening. Support, beam laser, energy cell, very safe. 4 metal, 10 energy per second, just from the commander. And you also get a light laser turret that's mobile, effectively. So it's very common. And it looks like Vistrichium is taking full advantage of the fact that he has production structures while Sackdoth does not. Sackdoth will be getting a pyro very soon. There we go. There it is. And from there, we'll be sending it out to try to get rid of all these units before they deal the damage they're trying to. Jethro's... Vistrichium apparently suspecting the gunship plant is going to be used. And in, in fact, is not. it is being reclaimed instead. Not being used at all. However, Vistrichium is still quite a ways ahead, and he has enough units being built up. Has his own caretaker as well. He has them. Actually, doesn't have the metal for it yet, but he's getting close. Between reclaim and additional metal extractors, by the time it's done, he will have the metal for it. And here we go. The attack starting up. Vistrichium's commander getting attacked directly, and our warrior going down. Or should say Vistrichium's warrior going down. I just, I like warriors a lot. They're a great unit. 
they're extremely useful at getting rid of things. They just have enough health that it doesn't matter if they get attacked. They, like, two or three of them get rid of a laser turret, no problem. Three of them get rid of a commander, no problem. But no bias to Vistrishim. I, I really just want to see who wins this match. I'm not favoring anyone. I just like warriors. They're cool units. Anyway, Pyro's coming in and getting a nice shot in there. Getting a nice angle, but only able to take out two of the units so far. A Rocco and a Jethro. Not a whole lot of loss for Vistrishim, especially since the Jethro is no longer necessary. Gunship plant having been... or being dismantled. But enough Glaives coming in, and that will be fairly able to get rid of the Pyro. Glaives do a decent job against them. I mean, they don't last long, but they're fast enough to keep up with them, and accurate enough that the Pyro's jumping isn't a big deal. The only problem is the fact that they die quickly to the fire. If they can flank, if they can get a flank or an ambush on the Pyro, it's great. But if they don't have that, then... It's impossible. There's no way they're going to deal damage. And now at this point, four or five powers being built, built up for Sactoth. He's managed to catch up a fair bit and able to defend his base quite well. So Vistrishium won't be able to go in quite as directly as he would have liked. Zeus coming in, however, and Zeus is a great idea against Pyros as well. Has the range to deal with the flames, and the EMP allows them to be taken out by other units nearby. But for that matter, Ticks wouldn't be a bad choice, but the Pyros could jump away from them. I think this Tick splash damage is enough that it wouldn't matter, but it might still cause a problem. Might be... It would make it that much harder to aim. Zeus is, however, not a bad idea. Now, Sackdoth probably going to transition from Pyros into... Oh, never mind. He rebuilt his Skunship plant, so he's actually getting rapiers. But probably will transition from Pyro into... Maybe Jack. Might just build up a bunch of Pyros. Rather than... Building up... I don't need this up. Ah. Okay, I apologize for this vote widget here in the corner. don't need that. But Sackdoth, I imagine, will... He might be pumping Pyros from here on out, but I think he's going to twist to Jax or switch to possibly just a Sumo. And go for the utility build. Just go for a big Sumo attack. It's plausible. With Jump, Ch with jump Jet Plant, there's a lot you can do with Pyros. They are actually a very useful unit, a very powerful unit, so it's not like you need to switch out of them. It's not like with Cloakies where Glaives are kind of there to build up and keep you going. They're a good unit to have, but they are meant kind of to build up to the stronger units, whereas Jump Jet Plant, all the units are pretty useful, especially Pyros are just that powerful, especially in groups. And Rapier's coming in for air support, it looks like they are probably going to be sent around the back, much like the Blast Wings were, to harass everything here. Defenders are set up, Vistrichium has not actually realized that Saktoth lost the... Wow, he's got a lot of defenders, he has not realized that Saktoth had briefly dismantled that gunship plant. And is well prepared for this, so there's really not much can be done. Nice harassment attempt in the west side of the map, and actually pretty good harassment moving moving the commander away from here. This is pretty big, actually. If you can get the commander out of this area, there's nothing to defend it from these from the Rockos. The metal extractors will be going down, and Sackdoth will go slightly behind an economy. Though at this point, it's still fairly even. Losing two metal extractors wouldn't be the biggest deal. It would be a big deal, but it wouldn't be the biggest. Now, Sackdoth will... Looks like he's continuing to just go for Pyros and Rapiers, not transitioning to anything else. And like I said, being that he is playing with Jump Jet Bots, transitioning is not strictly necessary, though... Might be handy to have a Sumo just to try to trample through everything. Probably unlikely, though. It could happen, it just seems unlikely. He's probably just going to try to mass the Pyros up, as he has been this entire game. And there we go, the Rapiers are going around the side of the map... Will be coming around the bottom. Probably will harass this expansion. Probably won't attack the main base directly. They wouldn't be able to get... Well, three of them probably wouldn't be able to get through. They might be able to, if they pick their targets right, take out a couple of the defenders and then have enough range to take out the Cloaky Bot Factory for free. With four of them coming, I could see that plausibly, but it would require some careful micromanagement. Anyway, Vistrishium coming in play. He is moving his Cloaky Bots into range of the defenders. And his Zeus looks like his... Going to be going down, but not quite fast enough. Able to deal some damage to Sackdoth's commander. Mind you, at this point, still not a huge amount of damage. It should be able to heal up relatively quickly. And these Rockos, having destroyed the Metal Extractors, are in turn going down to the Pyro. While Vestusium is going to take over this expansion. And he does have still a Metal Extractor advantage. It's pretty close, though. It's about 9 Metal Extractors to... Actually, it's not close at all. Sackdoth apparently is just reclaiming very effectively. All of his... His discrepancy is... I mean, he doesn't have as much metal coming in, but... The discrepancy there is taken up by the fact that he... Or made up for by the fact that he has... And there we go, one defender going down! 
And another defender needs to go down. This is where I meant by the micromanagement needs to be careful. These, these rapiers need to not get hit by the defenders. Need to stay relatively close to this. Razor's Kiss is a big problem. They are able to get rid of this Caretaker, and their harassment is effective. As I mentioned, the defenders are... Well, the defenders aren't really the big deal. It's the Razor's Kiss that's taken out the units. But it doesn't matter. The, rap the rapiers are doing everything they can. I want to call them raptors. I don't know why I want to call them raptors. I must be thinking of really old DOS shoot -em up game. But... We're not playing old DOS shoot -em up games, we're playing new multi-platform real-time strategy games. And the unit is called a Rapier. And it's actually able to get back to... well, might be able to get back to it. I think the defenders... No! Able to hide within the cliffs, not going down to the defenders. Very clever there. Well, actually, it's pretty much how it's going to work anyway, but still... Very clever by the unit, I suppose. Very clever by AI designers. Regardless, it works. The defenders are not attacking that Rapier. It can get in for free, and more Rapiers coming in. And here we go, there's the Jax I was talking about. They are doing a pretty decent job, but they aren't doing it. I mean, there's so many units in place that it's hard for them to actually get in. I was, that's why I was surprised. That's why I wasn't thinking he was actually going to go for Jax. I suggested because it's a natural progression, but it didn't seem likely just because of the amount of units that Vistrisium has. But no, more Jax are being built. No Pyros are being built anymore. And a Brawler being built up. Now, this is more what I would expect. A Brawler, as we saw in the first game tonight, is particularly effective against... Well, a lot of things, actually. It's a very powerful unit. It is effective against groups. We didn't see it effective against groups, but it is. Great for dealing with cloaky bots like this. Jacked, on the other hand, are not. There's too many units in place for them to have any way of getting them without being surrounded. Vistrisium going for another attack. Not a good idea at this point. I mean, the Zeus is doing well. The Warrior and Zeus will be the the real front runners in this attack, but still... Actually, you know what? No, we'll be able to pull it off. I was just thinking, between all the stuff in... all the defenses in place, and Sato's commander actually not built up that much. No, it looks like Vistrisium did go for the right choice, getting rid of Sakdos metal extractors. Why did I think that was a bad idea? The warrior alone could have taken care of half of that, and the Zeus is just overkill at this point. The Jack trying to do what it can between the warrior and... No, the warrior's going down. I was going to say between the warrior and the Zeus, but the Zeus is distracted, taking out the commander. Which is really what it should be doing. I mean, here's the brawler, here's the unit that should turn it around for Sakdos if anything will. Given that the Zeus is distracted, the Brawler able to deal enough damage to it. Well, along with everything else, but really the Brawler is taking care of the groups. Now, the real story is going to be how well it takes care of these Jethros. The Glaives as well. Actually, the Glaives more so. The Glaives can, of course, hit air, and it's going down. It's not attacking it well enough. It is useless. No. That Brawler could have done so much. But then the second Brawler coming up, all the same. Sakdoth, however, does only have 23 metal incoming. doesn't have enough to actually fund all of this. And, as we can see, the Brawler won't be here for another minute, and by that time, Sakdoth will lose everything outside of his main base, assuming that Vistrisium finds this expansion here. But, at this point, Sakdoth is behind half in terms of metal. And Vistrisium just pumping out Caretakers, pumping out Cloaky units, and that's all he really needs to do at this point, is just get a bunch of Zeus's and Warriors and some Glacier support, really Zeus's and Warriors, and push in here. Puppies coming in! I'm... A little bit surprised to see these, but yeah, puppies are coming in. They are a good unit. They are actually a nice unit for being self-replicating. Basically, they go near reclaim piles and they can build more and more of themselves. They're a suicide missile unit. Yes, the Jumpbot Factory has two suicide units, the Scuttle and the Puppy. But the Puppy is able to self-replicate, which is extremely handy. Because in large numbers they do especially well, it's just in small numbers they have a hard time... or that they have a hard time dealing with things because they just get hit too soon. Getting rid of one of the Rockos nicely, and the second Brawler is up. Unfortunately for it, the Zeus's are just too powerful to be dealt with in time. And more puppies coming up. These really aren't the best choice. Pyro would probably be an okay choice. At this point, though, there isn't a whole lot that would work especially well. Just against the Zeus's, Suma might work just for the amount of power it has. But at this point, Sakdoth is basically just falling behind and losing the game. Jump Off Factory, I'm not sure why he chose that in the first place. Not really the best choice. Gotta be honest, it's a little bit unusual that he went for that. It's a difficult choice to make work well, and on a map this large with this many resources, you can get groups of pyros, and that works pretty effectively, but that's about all you really have. I mean, the sumos can work okay, the firewalkers could work okay as well, if it's an artillery flame unit that we haven't seen. That would have worked as well, but even then it would have been tough. And the jump bot plant going down, the gunship plant will be going down soon as well, the Warrior trying to take that out, and the Zeus getting rid of the Brawler. That is pretty much game. A Caretaker being built to help build up another factory. 
If Sackdoth is smart, he'll probably be going for something more conventional, but knowing Sackdoth, he'll probably go for something tricky again. Conventional being, I guess, well, Cloaky or Shield. Actually, an unusual factor that wouldn't work especially poorly on this map would be spiders, given the amount of cliffs in this map. Spiders could set up nice ambushes, and with terraforming could actually stop a lot of stuff coming in. And that is actually exactly what Sackdoth is going for, is the spider factory. So he's thinking exactly that, he can go for ambushes, and at this point I think there's way too much map control in Vistrichium's hands that I don't think spiders would work. Gunship coming up for Vistrichium, getting a second factory at 43 metal income, though admittedly a lot of that's reclaimed, so it's kind of hard to say what a stable metal income is. Well, okay, not that hard. He has about... Well, it doesn't matter. Sackdoth throws in the towel, and that is the game. Having his last stuff discovered, and being destroyed. So that was a much more interesting and much more conventional game than we've seen in the last couple games tonight. We'll have another one in a moment, so stay tuned.